Doctor, a topic, a topic you're speaking on uh, here this week is about nutrition and recovering cancer patients. I think we all hear about how important nutrition is. How does that apply to, to cancer patients and those recovering from treatments? Sure. Um, a lot of cancer patients are actually undernourished. In fact, one study suggested there was 97% uh, of people undergoing cancer treatment may be malnourished. And so when it comes to um, addressing that, I think the astute clinician has to be aware of it and, and address it. it. It tends to lend itself to survivability. A lot of times we hear doctors will say, um, especially people going through treatments, just get something in your stomach, just eat. Because it's hard for people to eat, but that's not always helpful if they're grabbing fast food or a burger or a pizza, things like that, right? Right. I mean, frankly, nutrition uh, of any kind, of any sort, during treatment is is fantastic, even if it's not the best quality food. Of course, I want it to be the best quality mm -hmm. food, but frankly, um, my advice to people kind of entering into cancer treatment is it's going to be rough, but we'll fix you up and clean you up after we're done with the, with the aggressive parts of it. Mm -hmm. So um, just keep eating, keep going, and, and keep focused on it. How do you how do you get those patients to consume stuff, anything when, yeah, when they don't feel like it? Sure, I mean it's it's nausea. It really mm -hmm. is just the these medications make people not feel like like eating, and so um, liquids tend to be the best. And high dense nutrient, um, is calorie dense foods are are fatty typically. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things I recommend if they can tolerate it is usually oils. Like let's just mm -hmm. skip the let's skip the idea when feeling like chewing just doesn't appeal to me at all, don't. Like, let's slurp down a, a tablespoon of olive oil or MCT oil or something else just to get the calories in.